Hello everyone, this is Amanda Ray coming to you with a video today. And what we're going to be discussing is how to start a home-based business um, and how to be successful at it. We're going to talk about why most people fail and how you can become a part of that 3% 3, 3 that actually makes it. And I think this is really important because um, a lot of people want to work from home. They want to take that step. They want to have financial freedom, but they just don't know exactly where to start or what to do. So what I want people to understand is that it starts with mindset. And we're going to discuss that today because I think it's really important for people to understand um, the psychological aspects that's behind people that have a home-based business. And what 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 is the difference between those who fail and those who are successful? Um, I feel like a lot of people, they want to start a home-based business. They just don't know exactly what to do or they're afraid. So what I want to just show somebody, and I'm not going to take up much of your time, but this is really some great value that I needed to add. And for people to take a look at um, what's going on and just give me a, leave me a comment and tell me what you think about the information that I'm sharing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to um, look at failure and success. And I read this information yesterday and I wanted to share this with everyone because I thought it was very important for people to know. So. A lot of people put their self in um, one of these categories. They're either a failure or their success. And what people need to know is as children, as we're coming up, that we are brainwashed to feel that we're failures. We're either failing or we're succeeding. And what I'm saying is when you're in school and you're taking a test, it's either a fail or a pass grade, okay? If you if you didn't do well, you got a you got a F, and if you did great, you got an A. So starting at a young age, we realize that um, this is what we're brainwashed to know. You know, all throughout school, elementary school, middle school, high school, and college, you're either going to fail or you're going to succeed, and there's really no in between. Um, so the years of knowing that and having that in our minds, we you know, always felt, um, you know, you may feel down when you failed. You may feel like, oh gosh, it's like the end of the world. Um, it's, it's hard to overcome that. And, you know, if you were successful and you got an A, you know, you were, you were fantastic. You told your mom, your dad about it. You were excited because you received that A. So what we need to do is we need to, you know, when you want to become an entrepreneur, you want to have a home-based business. We need to now shift our way of thinking. We need to shift our way of thinking and we have to look at failure differently in order to overcome the failure that we may receive because working online or working from home, there's going to be a lot of failure and you have to get past that. So what we want to do is we want to now um, get rid of that mentality and really build ourselves up with knowing that failure is okay and that we need to fail in order to succeed. We need to overcome failure, and then what's that, what that's going to do is lead to success. So now we have to recondition our way of thinking, knowing that when you fail, it's just a part of being successful. So with online marketing, with home business um, programs like American Bill Money and other programs, we need to know that people are always looking at an opportunity. We have over 200,000 people that are looking for a home-based business, and what we need to know is that we're going to get a lot of no's and that no is okay because failure is a part of success. Okay. And once you get past that breaking point of being able to accept the failure that comes with leading to success and becoming successful, that's when you have reconditioned yourself and your way of thinking in order to become a leader and become successful, which means financially free. So just an example of what I went through. When I first came online, I was really, I, it was really hard for me to accept no, okay? When people told me no, it made me feel down. It made me feel like giving up. It made me feel like I needed to quit or that this was a scam. The business didn't work. Um, someone got me for my money. You know, they just took my money and this is, this really doesn't work. But what, it, what was happening is because I was so conditioned to failing because, you know, in school you fail, you're told that, you know, it's such a bad thing that I wasn't thinking about I needed to move forward and move past the failure in order to become successful. So then once I geared my mind into knowing that it was okay to fail and I had to overcome all of those no's that I was going to get and know that there was a certain amount of people that was going to say yes and actually take a look at my business and join my business. 
that's when I broke into a whole nother perspective and way of thinking that allowed me to make the money that I needed to make. Now, if I would have stayed in that failure zone, like most people do, because they're so used to saying, knowing that failing is bad, you get an F in school is bad, you get an F in college is bad. You know, if you don't graduate, you failed and you're, you're just not going to get a good job. You know, that's what we're conditioned to do. So what we need to now do is we need to recondition ourselves to know that failing is okay, that we're going to overcome it. It's a part of success. And once you gear your mind completely, not 50%, but 100%, knowing that it's okay to fail and that at some point, if you, as long as you continue to move forward, you're going to be successful. That's when you have broken that poverty way of thinking and now you're going to be able to be successful. You're going to be able to do the things that you want to do, make the money that you want to make because you overcame that feeling of failing, being a failure, and knowing that that's a part of the process. So we just really need to recondition our way of thinking, knowing that it's okay. Um, and that's how you become successful with a home-based home, home -based business, an online marketing business. Um, that's when you actually start to break the code and be able to speak to others and teach others what it is that you're doing and for them to be able to duplicate that just by reconditioning your way of thinking. So I want to give everyone um, an opportunity to really think about what I had to say, to comment in the um, section of the YouTube video or on the Facebook page about this information, share it if you liked it and it, and it, and it helped you to really think about how you um, your perception based on your the home-based business that you're in and what you need to do to move forward. So I just want to say thank you again. Um, and I, I love everyone that watches my videos. I'm looking to inspire people to start a home-based business because it's really not that, it's not difficult. It's just about being consistent, overcoming failure, and just moving ahead. So thank you so much again and have a great day.